Kirk to Enterprise. Perhaps they have gone back through the tear. Uh, Captain, you might want to take a look. What the hell is that? It appears that the Enterprise has been compromised. There's no way I can get us through that, sir. Maybe you can't, but I can. You are not considering. No, we are not considering. We'll signal when it's safe to come over. Aye, sir. Ready? Indeed. Let's go get our damn ship back. some additional practice on your landing techniques, Captain. What are you complaining about, Spock? We got in, didn't we? Now let's get her back. Agreed. Sulu, we're on board. Good to hear it, sir. Any chance of beaming us over there with you? Yeah, and the sooner the better. I don't think I can take any more of Sulu's fencing stories. Captain, if we access that terminal, we may be able to beam them over. Gentlemen, stand by for transport. Mr. Sulu, once you are on board, head immediately to the officer's quarters. It would be advantageous to our mission if you could discover a way to disable the Gorn's tethers. Understood. Bones, get to medbay. We may need your help with the infected. On it. Energize. Scotty, if you can hear me, please respond. We must consider the possibility that Mr. Scott is infected. Or worse. Captain, I'm here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty. Back at you, sir. What's the status of my ship? She's in pretty bad shape, sir. Those greenies have the bridge, the warp core is down, emergency life support is holding, but I don't know for how long. Captain, if we are ever to return through the rip, it is essential that we get the warp core back online. It's at the top of my list, Spock. Mr. Scott, we're on our way to warp core. to the control is through that door, but the hostile presence here is significant. No problem. Get to tell us something, Scotty? I was able to lock down the warp drive control room which kept those pesky buggers out, but... It'll keep us out, too. 
Aye, sir. But you should be able to override the locks using the main control panel in the center of the room. Understood. Commander, I need your help with this system. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. some of that Vulcan strength to get this door open. I came from over here. Crewman, let's go. You found Keenzer, Mr. Scott. You're alive! Where have you been? That sneaky little bastard. If there's any problems with the warp core, he's your man. Keenzer, see if you can initialize the warp drives. Only one core will lower. We've got to get in there and fix him. We will need to clear the area of Gorn to let Keenzer complete his work. He's no going out to the coast.
them have arrived. appears to be the last of them. Scotty, tell Keenzer we're clear. Come on, Keenzer, we don't have all day. Uh, Captain, he may be a wee little bugger, but there's no need to be patronizing. Sorry. Scotty, things ain't looking so good down here. He thinks there's something wrong with the upper wall court. He needs you to investigate. Can do. I need your help with this door.
take care of the pressure. I will lower the core. The pressure's released. Quickly, lower the core. We will need to repeat the same procedure for the remainder of the warp cores. Crap! Radiation leak! One of you needs to seal the containment room. I'll mark down your tricorders. Just curious, what happens if we don't? Oh, nothing serious, just severe radiation poisoning. Fail safe. I am going to lower the core. Got something here. The pressure's released. Quickly, lower the core. That's the last one. Okay, get back down here. Keats is in trouble, sir. On it, Scotty. appreciate if you could keep the little bugger safe. I know he's a pain in the ass, but... We will do our best, Mr. Scott.
Good work. Keenza really appreciates your help. It's okay, officer. We did! The walk car is back online. Nicely done. The infected now appear to be our most immediate problem. How's it going, Bones? I'm making some progress, but it'd be nice to get a little help up here. We're on our way. Spock, let's get to Med Bay. Captain, I think I have an idea that could help here. Let's hear it, Sulu. With the warp core back online, I believe I can destroy those tethers that are holding the Enterprise. We're all ears, Mr. Sulu. No offense. None taken, Captain. If I could pulse the shields, you could disrupt the tethers. He might be onto something, Captain. Get on it, Sulu, but wait for my order. We have to get control of the ship first. Over here. It's about time you guys got here. What's the status? I got injured everywhere. We've been able to barricade ourselves in here, but those little bastards are persistent. I don't know how long we've got. And the antidote? I can synthesize an airborne vaccine, but I need the lights back on. I can't see anything, and I don't have enough power to replicate enough for the whole ship. We can boost the power to Med Bay in the control room. Do not worry, Doctor. You will not be in the dark for very much longer. Is that some kind of joke? Not that I am aware of. Ensign, get me that sample from patient 42. Thanks, Commander. power using these access points. Our tricorders will help us locate them. On it. I can't work without power, Jim. How's it going down there? You're gonna have to be a little patient. 
Oh, sure. When you want something done, it's all now, now, now. But when I want... Dr. McCoy, I assure you the lecture is not helping. Sit tight, Bones. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Commander, I need your help with this system. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Follow me! Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Commander, I need your help with this system. Commander, I need your help with this system. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Spock. We need to redirect power using these access points. Our tricorders will help us locate them. On it. I can't work without power, Jim. How's it going down there? You're gonna have to be a little patient. Oh, sure. When you want something done, it's all now, now, now. But when I want... Dr. McCoy, I assure you the lecture is not helping. Sit tight, Bones. Time to waste. Who knows what? 
what I'll do. There's something over there. We just need to send it to Med Bay from the control room. Who's there? Where am I going? It's you! Why did you come here? Stop this! I can't no! Oh, please. please! Not me! that antidote dispersed ASAP. Doing my best. Captain, we're under attack. We need help in... I can't hold them much longer. Bones, get me a location. They're in the observation lounge. Mr. Chekhov, if you can hear us, we are on our way to your location. They breached the hull. We have injured. Help me open this. Chekhov's waiting, Captain. On it. Just get the antidote. I want my ship back. you're here. Mr. Chekhov, you appear to be injured. I will be fine. Let's get you back to Med Bay. I've got you covered, Captain.
watch out! Found Chekhov, get ready to receive more injured. No! Please, make it a clean shot. I want to die quickly. It makes me hunt. on that gurney. Thank you, Captain. I'll get him fixed up. Please tell me we have enough of that antidote. Looks like we got just enough. Now we gotta distribute it. Given the state of the infected, Administering the vaccine may prove difficult. Not as difficult as you think, Spock. The vaccine is airborne. Fascinating. You mean we just pump it through the vents? Here's a highly concentrated batch of the vaccine. Get it into the generator's intake module, and the vaccine should eventually spread through the entire ship. I've marked the nearest atmospheric generator on your tri-quarters. Let's get to it. I need triage over here. <laughs> 